I'm Molly Kuhn here for RLA TV. Today on April 5th, we had the opportunity to tag along with Mr. Roar's Drafting 3 class to tour the Muddy Creek Forks General Store and Roar Mills. The students' role here today is to take measurements for, to make blueprints for the roller mills. Not only are the students practicing skills for their future endeavors, but helping their community as well. Five miles south of Brogue, Pennsylvania, the area shown here is the site of the Muddy Creek Forks Roller Mills. Although it is no longer in operation, this location used to play a vital role in the early 1900s by providing wheat flour to the local community. Loads were also transported to areas connected with the 77-mile stretch of the Ma and Pa Railroad, which connected York and Baltimore. Adjacent to the mill stands the A.M. Grove General Store, which also served as the area's railroad station. You know, I started out here because I was interested in the railroad, uh, but the more I learned about the mill, the more I liked it. Uh, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, was a miller in York County, and I guess that tie somehow inclined me to be interested in the mill. Due to the old age of the massive built, the Muddy Creek Forks Preservation Society has no access to actual blueprints of the mill itself. But with the help of Mr. Royer's Drafting 3 class, the process of changing that was in the making. Preserving what's been around for many years, uh, way before their great-great-grandfathers or even grandfathers before them uh, were living. It's researching the history, find out where they came from, where their ancestry came from, and what was going on in the area. All four floors of the mill were measured and outlined using tape measures, notebooks, and writing utensils. Measurements were recorded and later stored into computer software that would transform the recordings into an archived blueprint documentation. Things I come down here a lot and just never really knew what was inside of now. Got an opportunity to come in here, create blueprints. Not only would this benefit students themselves in gaining experience in a field they may be involved with later in life, but the students also help to make a difference in their community. We're also going to be able to come to some better understanding of some of the things that are still mysterious in the mill for us. It has been a great day here at Muddy Creek Forks. Our students have had the pleasure to come out and help our community by taking blueprints of the Muddy Creek Forks roller mills that will be used in the Historical Society and learning the history of Muddy Creek Forks. This has been Molly Coon reporting for RLA TV. Have a great day.